Aaron, and I'm here with Houston for the friendship advice. The friendship advice, friend, OMG. Welcome to Razor News. I'm Camden. I'm Macy. I'm Joya. Today is February 5th, 2024. February is Black History Month. Our announcement loop will feature notable African Americans and landmarks from South Carolina all month. C-Team tryouts will be next week, February 12th through 14th from 5.30 to 7 p.m. Any 7th or 8th graders who wishes to try out is encouraged to do, do so and may attend tryouts. Boys' soccer practice is Monday through Friday from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. at the high school. FCA or Hawks for Heaven meets every Wednesday from 8 to 8.30 in the auditorium. Everyone is welcome and bring a friend. Bahala High School will host a freshman focus night th this Thursday, February 8th at 6 p.m. Individual graduation plans for rising 9th graders will take place next week, February 12th through 16th at Wahala Middle School. The last day to guarantee a copy of the yearbook is February 23rd. Online sales will continue until supplies run out. Yearbooks are $40 and payment plans are available. Go to Jostens.com or use this QR code or use the link on the Daily Bulletin to order. The deadline create an 8th grade ad is this Thursday, February 8th. Go online to Jostens.com and click on Yearbooks and choose Student Recognition Ad. There's also a link in the Daily Bulletin. Payment plans are available. Carnation grams will be sold during lunch this Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday for $2. The flowers will be delivered on Valentine's Day with a personalized note. It's almost time for the second annual Wahala Middle School Band Chili Cook-Off. On March 2nd, 2024, at West Union Town Park from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m., we'll invite our community to come help us support our Wahala Middle School band students. There's a $10 entry fee to enter the chili cook-off. The wood vendors are also needed. There is a $25 fee per space. Voter cards are $10, which include a drink, a sample of each chili, and a vote for your favorite. You can purchase these cards at the event. The chili cook-off will also feature snacks and drinks for sale, a silent auction, bouncy houses, a live DJ, and a s'more station. To enter the cook-off or reserve a vendor space, call or text Jennifer Wilson, 864-557-1153. Our Spring Spirit Week will be on the week of February 26th through March 1st with a pep rally on February 29th. More information to come. That's all for the announcements. Enjoy our special segments coming up next and have a great week. Bye! Hello and welcome back to National Days. T today is National Nutella Day. And Tuesday will be um, Frozen Yogurt Day, which sounds very yummy. Wednesday day is Fredochini Alfredo Day, which is very yummy. Thursday will be National Flag Height Day. And Friday is National Pizza Day, which is very yummy. Today we're covering... Okay, we will be covering Despicable Me 4, the new trailer. What do you think? I think it's good because, like, Gru had a baby, and maybe he's going to, like, learn how to respect children. <laughs> Finn! A 
Okay, I think this movie is going to have a lot of deepness to it, considering that Illumination had two new movies last year, Migration and Super Mario Brothers, the movie. Those got really good meanings in them and deep themes, and it was received well by audiences. All right, we're moving on to Drake, Olivia Rodrigo, Taylor Swift, and other songs getting removed off of TikTok. What do you think? Um... Drake's pretty cool. None of the other people I enjoy too much. Well, I don't really know how I think about it. If it has some artists I like, I'm not okay with it. And that's the end of Sipping Tea with Trent. Bye. Hi, it's me, Trent, for the poll. Today we'll be we will be asking, uh, what's your favorite way to procrastinate? Browsing the internet, cleaning the house, watching TV, or eating snacks? Eastland, definitely watching TV. Scarlett, eating snacks. Macy, Riley, Violet, watching TikTok, eating snacks, eating snacks. Obviously. Cool. Last week, we asked students and staff, what's your favorite way to procrastinate? The online results had 161 responses, and you guys said that scrolling the internet was the most popular, popular with 33.5% of votes. Watching TV came in second with 24.8%, eating snacks with 20.5%, and cleaning the house got 8.1% of the votes. We also had some write-in responses. Here are some of the most interesting ones. Flying Dungeons and Dragons, Riding My Horse, Playing Outside, and Bop It. That's all for the poll this week. Bye. Bye. Cut. Today I'm here with Miss Holleran for the Spanish phrase of the week. Hola, the phrase of the week for today is, ¿Qué pasa? What is happening? Again, ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué pasa? Hi, I'm Parent, and I'm here with Houston for the friendship advice. The friendship advice of this week is always be nice to someone because you never know what's going on in their personal life. And that's it for the friendship advice of this week. Bye! Hello, my name is Trent, and today we will... We will be discussing the tea and pop culture. We're with my co-host, Finn. Today, we will be discussing the Super Bowl, Despicable Me 4, and Drake, Olivia Rodrigo, and Taylor Swift, and other songs getting removed off of TikTok. Let's start with the Super Bowl. It should have been the Ravens and the Lions. Uh, I dislike Brock Purdy. He's a system quarterback. And it should have been the Lions, but Dan Campbell forgot to coach. Honestly, I don't know how I feel about it. I don't really watch it. I just care about the ads and the movie commercials. Well, actually, um, it wasn't really Dan Campbell's fault. It was really everybody's fault on the team. There was too many drops. All right, now we're moving on to Despicable Me 4. I think it's good because, like, Gru had a baby, and maybe he's going to, like, learn how to respect children. Okay, I think this movie is going to have a lot of deepness to it, considering that Illumination had two new movies last year, Migration and Super Mario Brothers, the movie. Those got really good meanings in them and deep themes, and it was received well by audiences. All right, we're moving on to Drake, Olivia Rodrigo, Taylor Swift, and other songs getting removed off of TikTok. What do you think? Um... Drake's pretty cool. None of the other people I enjoy too much. Well, I don't really know how I think about it. If it has some artists I like, I'm not okay with it. And that's the end of Sipping Tea with Trent. Bye. Hi, I'm here with Finn for the phrase of the week. Standing on business. I didn't ask you what it was. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it standing on business? You have to always stand on business when cooking. That's pretty cool. I'm standing on business. <laughs>